Good morning everyone. Good morning. Today we're taking you with us to explore Old Town area of Bangkok. We're probably not going to cover all area because it's massive. But as you probably know as already, you can definitely expect a lot of good food, cool places to go and... Some of the sights of Old Town as well, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go and see what's coming up. Let's go. <laughs> That's not it. Wait until we get to the top. You only make you feel like you could never so this depiction here is basically about when they had an outbreak of cholera here which spread for many years this it has like a little green worms in it so we're approaching chinatown now we're taking you with us few more snacks so busy here it never used to be this busy so i'm just gonna sit here if you're new here we are Danny and Diggy, an English-Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches, and want to see more of this beautiful country, join, join us on, on our, our journey. journey. Yes, as we said, we're kind of exploring the old town of Bangkok. The old town of Bangkok is actually quite a large area, so like I said, we won't cover all of it. But it basically consists of from the Golden Mount all the way across past the Grand Palace and slightly across the river to Wat Arun as well and Chinatown. All of this is part of the Old Town. So we're going to go to a few places. We've got a few spots that we want to go and see, places we haven't seen before. And yeah, you're coming with us. Let's go. So this place we're going to show you now is called Giant Swing. So this behind me is another tourist attraction and basically it's called the Giant Swing. So this is actually constructed in 1784 and it was part of a religious ritual basically. And if you can see the beam across the top, it used to be guys and it's done annually for 150 years. They used to swing normally four at a time and they had to grab a bag of money with their teeth from this tower which is quite crazy. But they did stop it after a few fatal accidents but this one here is not the original this was actually moved here a bit later on yes this is actually renovated back in 2006 and the original one is in the national museum of bangkok but i think people should swing off that that's crazy but yeah people died and they had to stop it but it went on for 150 years crazy <laughs> see the base I'm sitting on this basically used to represent the earth and the two pillars they used to represent the mountains so a little fact for you <laughs> We have to burn off all this lovely food we had because we're gonna eat more. <laughs> I fancy a coffee. Maybe we can find a yes, coffee at some point coffee, somewhere. Coffee, please. Be nice. Yeah. Iced coffee is so hot, guys. Honestly, it's very hot. It might not look it, but it's quite sticky. Yeah, it's very yeah. hot. The rain would help. It would be nice if it <laughs> could rain for a little bit. We could hide in a coffee shop, in a cafe somewhere, chill for a bit, and then come out, and the air would be lovely and fresh. And I'm mumbling again, sorry about that. I will now. So I don't know about you guys, but for us, we don't really plan plan everything. We pick out points we want to see, but the main thing we love is just wandering around, looking at the streets, and if we see something interesting, we'll just stop. But there's so much to look at all the time. Mm. So much stuff to look at. Currently, we're walking through the street where there's a lot of stuff. Like you can take for a temple. Oh, go behind. Look there behind me. So much cool stuff. It's all really beautiful, covered in gold. It's beautiful. Yeah, lots of Buddha statues, as you can see. 
There's loads here, the shop's just full of them here. Yeah? I show you. It's a massive one. Why does it eggs on the cactus? <laughs> about why is it eggshells on a cactus I don't know is this a thing or somebody just done like a weird thing in front of the shop let us know got our attention anyway yeah this kind of reminds me when you've got the streets they're all full of the same items it reminds me of Vietnam when we were in Hanoi it's very similar with one street has this one street has this oh wow Now we're walking through the wooden bit area. We can find a lot of wood here, like a door, bits for the house, numbers. It all looks like pretty, pretty nice. You can smell it as well. Smell. Yeah. It's, cold, yeah. it's so hot. Time for coffee. We just stopped for the coffee before we're gonna go and explore the next thing on the list. This is right in front of me. Have a look. So yeah, we're gonna take you to the Golden Mount. It's a super cool temple, really nice views, but it's middle of the day at the moment. You can see me how sweaty I am. It's so hot. We need refreshment, we need coffee, we need some fuel. <laughs> How much for this coffee? It's 50 uh, baht. 50 baht each. 50 baht each. Hand, Ice Americano. Ice Americano. Nit noi nam tan or nam tan nit noi. We've been walking for ages. I ran out of energy. I don't know how I'm gonna make it to the top. So, we are at Wat Saket which is otherwise known as the Golden Mount. The Golden Mount is only part of the whole temple complex, but everyone knows it's the Golden Mount. So let's go check it out. Let's buy a ticket, see how much it is. Let's go. It does look beautiful here though. As soon as you walk in, just the grounds itself, when you look at it, it looks really nice. And it's so peaceful as well. We've, we have been here three times before, but we love it so much that we want to see it again. It's, this temple is something else. And what another cool thing is, is the viewpoint at the top. So when you get to the top, you can actually see it over the whole area we've been exploring yeah. today, over the whole old town. So it's nice to get a nice view up there, but it's nearly the hottest part of the day. It's so, so hot, guys. We came the wrong time, but we're going up anyway. Yeah. Let's go. bar per person entry ticket and 300 steps around 300 steps to go up let's go <laughs> it's really beautiful it doesn't seem like you're in the center of Bangkok here does it it's nothing like it Danny is also recording a nice little TikTok for you guys, so make sure you visit our Danny and Diggy TikTok. It's so warm today, I want to sit here and put my feet in. <laughs> That's loud. <laughs> <gasps> There's going to be some beautiful views on top. Mm. 
So I've heard conflicting information about this place. Uh, one place said it was built in the reign of King Rama the Third. The other one said it was built in the reign of King Rama the Fifth. So I'm not too sure. Let us know if it's third or fifth. I'm not too sure. Check out this beautiful view. That's not it. Wait until we get to the top. I'll tell you what is nice is the breeze. We've got a breeze now, so it's a bit cooler. Ah, this is really cool. I love this place. So I've been here many times, but I love it. It's so peaceful, so quiet, and really good views. Compared to some other temples in, well, Bangkok, this is a good one. One of the best. So what you can see behind me is a main pagoda of the Vatsaket being quiet because actually people praying in here. Get ready for the views, there's nice views up here. Saket. Now we off to another point in a old town. We're gonna explore a little bit more. Stop for cold drink. It's so hot today. And yeah, you're coming with us. So let's go. Let's move on to the next place. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's chatting up the other birds. Chatting up some birds. <laughs> chatting up birds. some birds. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Another thing I think is really nice is you cannot hear any traffic up here, nothing. It's so yeah. quiet. You can just hear the bells going and the guy chatting on the speaker. But it's so peaceful, isn't it? It's lovely. I love it. Okay, so as you know now, King Rama III ordered the construction and it's continued by the 4th and the 5th, so I know now. So this depiction here is basically about when they had an outbreak of cholera here which spread for many years. But basically this is the legend of the vultures of Wat Saket temple, which is this one. So when all the people got the disease of cholera, they were brought to the temples and it attracted a lot of vultures. And they're actually, and that sounds quite bad, but feasting on some of the bodies. So this is what it depicts, yeah. There is one more thing in here, massive Buddha statue. Have a look. These little monks statues, they look so real. It's actually creepy. They look so real. They look like little people. I forgot to mention, we didn't realize that you actually get a voucher exchange for a drink. So you get like a soda, you can have lychee, pandan, chrysanthemum, coconut, and it's all included with the price. You just keep your ticket, you'll take the bit off, and you get a free drink. Mm. Much needed cold refreshing drink full of ice. Ah. Here. 
Oh, wow. We haven't seen this bit before, have we? This is yeah. new. Yeah. But I've been here so many times, but never came in here. I've never it's seen so it. It's so hot. I don't know what happened with the weather in Bangkok. It was nice and cool so far. And now, it's boiling hot. But well, that's probably normal weather for Bangkok, but... Yeah, this is the first really, really hot day so far. Right, we off to... Where are we going? Off to the metro station, and we're heading towards the Chinatown area, not actually oh, Chinatown. Yeah. So, we're off to Samyot station, yeah. and we're heading to Wat Man Khan, yeah. the next station. So, we've got to get across this bridge. The station should be on our left. Let's get there. So, yeah, we're going to explore the new area now. Still, still old town, just a little bit further. 16 bar. So, just for one stop, my metro MRT only 16 bar each. So, as you see, the public transport is really, really cheap in Bangkok. Oh, it's so good. Heaven, cold breeze, the aircon. Oh. So we just got here to Wat Man Khon MRT station. We're taking exit three, and then we're gonna have a walk around, have some food, something to drink again, cause it's super hot, and yeah. Yeah, our plan is just to explore the area, find some food, I think, and just generally look around, yeah. Yeah, let's go. We are not, we are not far from the Chinatown main bit over there, which is Yao Barat Road. Not far from there. Expect a lot of food now. A lot of yummy food. These are the best streets of Bangkok. Busy, hot, amazing smells of food. Check this out. We're coming back later to get some of these because Danny loves it. I love these things. We're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> we love this area of Bangkok, don't we? So close to mm -hmm. Chinatown. Basically, Yarra Rat is one street across the main Yarra Rat, but this is why we like to come to the opposite one. There's so much more food as well. Yeah. And yeah, see, it's Chinese New Year, so there's lots of decorations up now. So, this place behind me is apparently really good cow camo, but we're not gonna come and show you this place now because we already had cow camo in the last video, so we're looking for something else. Something a little bit different, maybe. Is it? Oh, look. Oh, shall we get one? Yeah. Yeah? So it's like noodles made from tapioca starch and it's with coconut milk and filled up with like shaved ice. So we're going to try one. I've heard these are going to be really nice, refreshing, and as I said, it's hot, so I need one. Um, Check this out. How yeah. cool is this? It has like a little green worms in it. <laughs> <laughs> And coconut milk. <laughs> See the worms go up. Nice. Aroma. <laughs> oh wow. Yum. Try it. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. I like that you have the chewy bits. Reminds me of like uh, bubble tea, mm. but with coconut. <laughs> I love this. It is a little bit sweet, but it's nice and sweet yeah, and but it's nice coconut milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Right, let's go find something else. This is just keeping us filled up, keeping us cool, and we'll try and find something else. But yeah, we did see this before down this street. This is why we came back. Because there's lots of food we want to try, we haven't tried. And this was one of them. ordered something which we, you haven't seen on this channel yet um, basically we didn't have a good experience with this dish before but we had basically information that 
and this place is really good so we're gonna try it again the dish is called Ratna and it's basically um, fried noodles with gravy pork and some greens let's give this one a go I can't try. speak I'm so tired okay let's eat you go first mm. uh, like for me like I said before what I didn't like is the consistency of the gravy as you can see it's quite thick I think it's thickened with flour so it's just a normal gravy watery and they thicken it let's give it a try the flavor is really good but I'm not too sure on the consistency still <laughs> but the flavor really good really really good so obviously you've got the noodles as well what's different with these is they're actually crunchy they've got a crunch to them the noodles are really good I really like these noodles this kind of the way they're cooked mm -hmm. It's crunchy and yummy. So yeah, the noodles are deep fried, which makes it a lot more crunchier, which gives it a bit of a break from the gloopiness, kind of, the radna. Yeah, it makes it a bit nicer, I think. Still not converted yet. You have a go, diggy. My turn now. We have a big bowl of fried noodles in here, deep fried noodles, gravy, and some green broccoli. Let's give it a go. But I'm going to add some cheese to it. The flavour is amazing. The flavour is so good. I like it with deep fried noodles as well. When you mix it, it's not that gloopy. It's really, really nice. Yeah, I'm still not too keen on consistency of this dish, but the flavours are definitely up there. Definitely. I can still eat it because it's so good, even with the gloopy gravy. Yeah. Yum. So many cool little places around here. Yeah, if you do come around this area and you like your coffee, you're in the right place because there's loads of bespoke and little cafes hidden away in little corners. If you like your coffee, come around here. You've got so much choice. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Come here. Do it. <laughs> Here, or this road that we're walking down now is called Nana Alley. So, not the Nana Plaza, you know, Nana Alley. Yeah, lots of nice places here. Nice food, nice bars as well. There's lots of bars in the evening, lots of coffee, and there's lots of food if you just come off the road as well. So, it's a nice area to explore. I'd like to come here at night at some point. Definitely, it'd be cool. De I think this is the more original place to get the drink we had earlier, but ours was really nice anyway. Yeah. So maybe come here, same area we were in before. Uh, right, we're gonna get one to try if it's the same or as good as the other one. Yeah. More ice and less coconut milk. Proper street food sitting on a little stairs on the street. Let's try it. So this one looks a little bit different. If you look at the bottom, it's like clear. I don't know if that's sugar or what it is. And they give you a spoon. You mix it in. So you can eat it like an ice cream. I think? Maybe not quite as sweet. I think maybe a little bit less sweet, but very nice again. So we're approaching Chinatown now. We're taking you with us, a few more snacks, and then we go home. Let's go. So yeah, that's famous durian. Let us know if you would like to see us trying durian. Leave the comment below if you do. They're getting ready for the afternoon. I'm sure you know the Chinatown turns into the massive street food heaven. Around 5 o'clock, we're here a little bit early. It's 3 p.m. now. So let's see what we can find. <laughs> that's, that's normal for me. <laughs> Oh, that smelled nice. Yeah, that was shark fin soup. I wouldn't eat it myself, no, but, but the soup broth actually smelled quite nice. Mm. Amazing, vibrant Chinatown. I love this place. Always 
busy, doesn't matter what time of day you are here, it's always hustle and bustle and tons and tons of amazing food. Yeah. We're here just before it gets busy, but it's still busy now. Obviously, Chinese New Year is coming up, so yeah, it's getting even busier. Have you seen those guys, what they were doing? They were bloody sliding along across the road. Sorry. Now we decided to come here and eat more because we never have enough of Thai food. We're gonna get so fat in here. I'm fat already, Dan is getting there. <laughs> this is why we go into the gym most days if we can. Yeah. We're just going to the gym to eat, that's it. <laughs> yeah. We go to the gym so then we can eat more. And yeah, we show you around, just quickly, not, not too long. Look at these, I think they're like crispy, they call them duck guitars because they're shaped like a guitar. <laughs> So I'm just gonna sit here. But now we just got some chicken satays. These are so good here. You can see by how many people. Give it a go. Oh yeah. So good. So soft. Lovely, tender. The main thing I like is this pickled onions. So pickled onions, chili, cucumber. Eat it after you've eaten this. So good. Actually, that red salt you can see in here. This is peanut sauce, but it's actually made from Massenman curry paste. Again, real street food. We just grabbed ourselves a little seat of the street. There's nowhere to eat, so. <laughs> really good food, and again, only 80 baht. 10 sticks for 80 baht. Can't go wrong. Hey. So that's it from today. It was a long day exploring Old Town. We absolutely love it, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Old Town has absolutely amazing charm. So much food, it's so vibrant, it's so busy. Absolutely love it, you have to come here. But I think you can spend a lot more time here. We yeah. can come back two, three, four times and still not see everything. Mm. So that's just a little snippet of what you can get. Maybe some different foods. We tried some different foods today. Then we some bit off ones. Yeah, Radna, we never yeah. had what we had before, but not a good one. This one was amazing. So yeah, we're gonna finish the video off here. We're at the MRT station, we're on our way back. Yeah, heading so, home yeah. now, because we're hot, need a shower, tired. Need to get ready for the trip tomorrow. Tomorrow we're taking you to some really cool places outside of Bangkok with some other YouTubers as well. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. Make sure you give us a like if you enjoyed this video because that's very important for us. Um, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more and see you in the next one. And also any comment, drop them below. Yeah. We will answer them all. Yeah. Bye!